And for what? For what? Why? Why? What? What? Why did he deserve that? What? Because he ran. And again, like I said, I get it. You know, maybe if he didn't run, but still, all five of those dudes did not have to the the manhandle this kid. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? So let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about it. It's, it's right here. It's up. It's up. The body cam footage of this young man getting, like, brutally massacred. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about what happened, man. Drivers, y'all, y'all be safe out there, drivers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, going through Memphis right now, Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, if you guys happen to be driving through there, make sure y'all be a little bit more diligent. Make sure y'all be a uh, uh, keep keep your head keep your head on a swivel, please. Okay, keep your head on a swivel because. Some unsavories is going to take this advantage like they always do with situations like this. They're going to take advantage <clears throat> and, and, and try to do some, uh, do some crazy stuff. So drivers, if, you, if you're out in Memphis, Tennessee right now, uh, please be in a uh, safe location. Preferably a truck stop. Hopefully you guys is not on the street. Um, hopefully you guys is not in the situation that that other drivers was in during the George Floyd situation. Uh, be careful, ladies, be careful. Because some unsavories is going to use this as 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 uh as an advantage like they always do in situations like this let's talk about it i'm not going to play the video i i i seen what i need to see i i ain't even watch all the videos it's it's a four-part video right here um the main video that i saw was was heart-wrenching to watch uh it was gut wrenching. It, it 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 will make you feel some kind of way, for real, for real. Um, these five law enforcement they supposed to protect and serve. You know, I understand. I understand the the young man got up and ran, but he didn't deserve that. And, you know, I'm the first to always say, you know, maybe if he didn't run, maybe this, maybe that. But still, but still, in this situation, five cops beat it, an unarmed man to a pulp like that. Like, this was like a gang beating right here. Like, dude looked like he was getting initiated into, in, into the, uh, in, in, into this cop thing, right? But that wasn't the case. There was no justification. There was no reason for all those cops to come in and get multiple blows in on this young man. Always going to the trope of stop resisting i mean the young man was pepper sprayed he was beaten with the with he was beaten with the baton he was tasered like this dude was like disoriented and you got five officers pulling him every which way but loose bruh and this went on for like at least a good Four or five minutes. 
four or five minutes, man. And then, I, I you know, again, I, you, you, you really have to have the stomach to, to really watch these four clips. After the first, after after the first one, I don't think you could. I, I don't think you could. At least, at least not without sitting here feeling some kind of way. You know, it was at night, and the only cameras that was around was the 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 camera from from the the apartment complex and the body cameras. Now look, I'm I'm about to take a double standard right quick because the city of Memphis, listen here, man. To be honest with you, <laughs> I really don't think you should have released this video. At least not to the public anyway. At least this should have been released to the family. This should have been released to the family. And um and yeah, but then again, what I said about the, what I was about to take the double standard, because if this was the other way around, because I know you guys are going to say it, if this was the other way around, then they wouldn't have released this video as fast as they released it. That video would have been doctored, it would have been doctored. Their lawyers would have would have would have went to court to fight to fight new I mean tooth and nail to not have that video footage released yet. At least not until somebody got in there and doctor it all up. But of course, being that the times that we live in and transparency has has to be uh has to be apparent somebody needs to take accountability and they released the video now memphis you guys is getting ready as well as 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 well as atlanta and probably a couple of other key cities y'all getting ready y'all getting prepared you, uh for the citizens you know, I know you guys was told to be prepared because it's it's inevitable. It always happened. George Floyd situation came all the way down here to Cleveland, bro. So everybody is getting prepared. Everybody is on edge. It's supposed to be peaceful as it always starts. But eventually is is going to turn ugly and my drivers my drivers my drivers my drivers listen do not get out of your truck for any reason if you have to use the bathroom this is the time to use the bathroom on the truck until y'all get out of the city of memphis tennessee and y'all, y'all maybe about another state over. Then, you know, but while y'all driving in the city, make sure that you guys stay safe. Okay. I care about you guys. I don't want to see nothing happen. We've seen what happened to, to the truck driver, Reginald Denny. We've seen what happened to the truck drivers that were doing the George Floyd situation. I, I don't want to see no crazy situations with you guys. So definitely stay safe. Keep your head on a swivel, man. City of Memphis, I, I feel for you guys right now. I feel for the family. I, I honestly feel for the family on this one. Those five cops need to take accountability. They don't need to be on the force. They don't need to be, they, they, they need, they, they need, <laughs> they need to be somewhere where they had to think about this action that they did 
and this action was wrong. Y'all public servants. Y'all not above the law, man. That dude did not deserve what, what you guys did to him. He did not deserve it just because he ran. Even though he ran, he still didn't deserve it. He didn't deserve that beating that you guys gave him. Y'all need, uh, need to take accountability for what y'all done to that young man. And again, drivers, y'all better make sure y'all watch y'all back, front, and side.